I think the first show I ever did, I think I was like uh, seven or eight years old. And that's sort of when I caught the bug. But I, if you ask my family, I'm sure that I was being a ham at the age <laughs> of three or four. What was the show you did when I you did were seven? I did The King and I. It was my first show. Uh-huh. I was Prince Chula Longhorn at <laughs> the age of eight. I'm going to call you that from now on. Prince <laughs> Chewy. Do Chewy. Prince Longhorn. Chewy. Okay, That's gotcha. what they called me, <laughs> Prince Chewy. Yeah, I did, uh, I, I did The King and I at the age of eight. Um, and I've been doing it ever since. It's been and great. Nicholas, yeah. what about you? What was your first uh, performance? I did the, the, when I was eight or nine, I did Anne of Green Gables in Canada. Oh. I'm from Canada, so there was a, a little mu- community musical theater. Uh, community production. And, Did you take uh, it on road to <clears throat> Prince Edward Island? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. I, I, I was offered to go, and then I got Mamma Mia in Toronto, so I, it was like I had to turn that down. To, All right. to, Wait, how old were you when you did Mamma Mia? Um, eight, nine, eight, 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 so you were, you were a kid. Yeah, I was a kid, yeah. I yeah. was Corey's age, 19. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Okay, Aaron, what about you? Were you just uh, a tiny little... My mom had us singing ever since we could make noise. Mm-hmm. Uh, music has been a huge part of my family. I didn't do theater until junior high, but I was also in The King and I, and I played Prince Chewbacca. I mean, Chula Longhorn, excuse yeah. me. Yes. Um, and uh, the same role. But You uh, did? You really did? Yeah, we did. I played the same role as he did. It wasn't the same production. I, I, yes, I, I, <laughs> would, I would imagine so. But uh, uh, I also wouldn't necessarily picture either of you in that role, but I guess, you know, times are changing. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, sometimes the community of Siamese people in a neighborhood is dwindling so you know, not very, that's so, yeah. a completely different there is an absolutely but... there is a picture out there somewhere in the ethers of me doing that role and having the most obscene amount of makeup you can possibly imagine it it, it really but the problem was they didn't blend it in and i was wearing a sleeveless costume so it only goes up to my elbows so like the makeup goes up to here and then the makeup only goes down to like the neck and then it's pale it was it was a little rough but um you know, it's community theater. Yeah, it's the community best. theater. Yeah. Well, <laughs> casting is certainly an issue we could spend a lot of time of course, talking about. Of course, and I think we of don't want to go down that of rabbit course. hole right now. We you still know, need to hear about. I know Corey, you're still quite a kid from what we hear. Uh, but, yeah. but but how old were you when you first started working in theater? Well, oh, I'm just waiting for the jokes from these guys. Uh, in fifth grade. Last year. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in, in fifth grade, I did my talent show, and uh, I sang Sugar Pie Honey Bunch, as any fifth yeah. grader does. And uh, and my reasoning was just like, I enjoy singing and want to see if people enjoy listening to me. And that sounds pretty logical. It, yeah, right? And it just sort of kept on going from there. And I had done stuff, you know, like in elementary school, like little variety shows and stuff like that. But that was when I sort of was like, oh, this is fun. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, I, I caught the bug, just like they all said. Yeah. 